The Luna Cup is a silicone menstrual cup that is made in the United States but sold in Mexico. It's available in three different sizes, mini, medium, and large, and is offered in one color which is an opaque white. Rating this cup's firmness on a scale from 1 to 5 with 5 being the firmest, the rim of the medium size Luna Cup would be a 3, while the body is about a 3.5 to 4 and the rim on the large would be about a 2.5 to 3, while the body is about a 3 to a 3.5. The mini might be more comfortable for those that have a low cervix or a medium to low cervix, while the medium and the large size Luna cups would probably be better for someone that has a medium to high cervix. These cups are on the longer side. I don't have the mini so I can't give you any kind of measurements for those, but I believe they have some information about it on their website. Uh, the website is in Spanish. Not everything will Google Translate for me to English, so you'll have to check out that information on your own. But here are the measurements for the medium and large Luna Cups. The total length of the medium Luna Cup with the stem is 66 millimeters. Without the stem, it's 58 millimeters. It has a 41 millimeter diameter and holds 20 milliliters to the holes and 25 milliliters to the top of the rim. The large Luna cup is also 66 millimeters with the stem and 58 millimeters without the stem, has a 45 millimeter diameter, holds 25 milliliters to the holes and 30 milliliters to the top of the rim. If you're interested in hearing about my experience with the Luna Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please remember that this is my experience with this cup. Your experience might be totally different if you already have the cup or if you're planning on purchasing it. If you are planning on purchasing this cup, don't base it solely on my review alone. One more thing before I begin, please take note to the design of this cup. It has a leaf pattern for grip rings at the base and the stem is slightly tilted. There is another Luna cup on the market and it is very similar to some of the cheapies that we see on like Alibaba and AliExpress. Please don't be confused. The Luna cup company also offers cloth panty liners, other hygiene products, and aromatherapy oils specifically for mood and aches during menstruation. Inserting the Luna cup. I used both the C-fold and the punch-down fold for these cups, and while they both worked fine, uh, I did find that the uh, C-fold worked better with the larger size. It seemed to open more quickly and with less pinching to get the rim to expand. The medium size Luna cup is a bit firmer, and I think that's because it's more narrow. And there was a couple of times that it snapped open on me when I wasn't expecting it. I quickly learned to insert a finger and shield my cervix or to allow the rim to open a little lower in my vaginal canal. Then I could insert a single finger and maneuver it into place. Wearing the Luna Cup. There were a few times that I tried to use the Luna Cups while my cervix was a little on the lower side, and if I sat a certain way, I could feel the stem poking me. Although it wasn't unbearable, there was no reason for me to be uncomfortable, so during those times, I used a different, shorter brand, and then was able to use the Luna Cups again comfortably after a day or two. These cups are on the firmer side of medium, but I didn't experience any bladder or bowel sensitivities. Removing the Luna Cup When I first saw the tilted ball stem, I wondered why the heck they designed it that way. But after using the Luna Cups, I get it. I also wondered why more companies didn't actually design their stems this way. The tilt helps your finger lock behind the ball and keeps it from sliding off of the tip. I love this feature so much that even though it would be more comfortable for me to trim off the stem, I probably won't but the ball stem is trimmable if you need to. These cups have four small air holes, and although I got a decent seal with them, it wasn't so strong that I had difficulties removing it. My final thoughts on the Luna Cup. The Luna Cup medium and large are most similar to the Diva Cup model one and two. The sizing, length, and firmness are pretty close, 
However, the rim of the Luna cup is a little bit softer. So I use these cups for a few different occasions during four different cycles. I also use the large Luna cup a couple of times for stress incontinence issues while I was coughing. For the most part, I found them very easy and comfortable to use, and I do love the tilted ball stem. Well, that's all I have for now about the Luna Cups from Mexico. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below of what you think about the tilted ball stem, even if you don't have it or haven't tried it yet. Until I see you next time, take care.